The US banking crisis could yet get worse, but its effects and implications for crypto are still trying to be figured out. For NFTs, the picture shows a market struggling to make sense of it. NFTs typically lag crypto markets, but already we've seen big movements since the weekend's collapse of key crypto banks. According to data from CryptoSlam, global sales volumes were down 60% in the 24 hours to noon in Hong Kong. The number of NFT buyers was also down by 60%. NFT transactions, meanwhile, had fallen more than 50%. But this comes as cryptocurrency prices have actually bounced. Bitcoin was up over 9% in the same time period, trading at around $24,500. Ethereum was up too, some 5% stronger at $1,680. So what's going on? Well, despite the falls in NFTs that we've just mentioned, the Forecast Labs Forecast 500 index was actually half a percent higher. And that was a day after the index hit an all-time low. The index measures the performance of the top NFT projects across blockchains. Yehuda Petcher from CryptoSlam, which is part of Forecast Labs, told the Daily Forecast, quote, What we're seeing for the past seven days is a continued cooling off of the market, this time with a pretty obvious catalyst, the SVB, Signature Bank, and Silvergate Bank collapses. He continued, quote, The potential trickle-down effects have put traders on high alert, and many are looking to get into safer assets before a significantly more extreme bear market. This flight to safety in NFTs is, according to CryptoSlam, also likely in part because of high gas fees. According to EtherealPrice.org, the cost of Ethereum transactions spiked on Saturday. That was as US regulators announced action to intervene in SVB and Signature Bank. Now, worries about what could happen next are a key driver. That's according to Dante Desparte, the Chief Strategy Officer and Head of Global Policy for Circle. He's been talking to our Editor-in-Chief, Angie Lau. And the industry broadly is looking for corrections and remedies on some of the, the broad correlations and exposures from last year. And so unfortunately, uh, crypto Twitter is a fire. Um, the, 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 the targeted campaign spreading fear, uncertainty and doubt are also on fire. Circle, of course, was caught up in the SVB collapse. And you can catch the rest of that special interview in which he discusses what happened and what's next in our Word on the Block show. The NFT space, too, has been caught up in all of these worries. But Ida Mock from Fluidity Money told the Daily Forecast that while the weekend's developments are key, they are also part of a broader trend. People are just moving from one market to another market to another market, okay? Um, and uh, uh, they, they generally react to uh, the sentiments of the market, i.e. pricing. Uh, and that's what we're seeing now. So a, a little bit of FOMO, a little bit of fear factor, bang, you're going to lose it. A key issue right now in the NFT market is whether the money currently in it is really moving in and out or whether it's being recycled. Competition between NFT marketplaces has recently blown the space wide open. Previously dominated by OpenSea, Blur.io has claimed more than a third of sales in February. That's according to data from Dat Radar and NFT gaming firm Balthazar. While this competition has been welcomed by some, it has also been described as unsustainable. And a mocker boss, Yatsu, said that by competing for users, marketplaces aren't rewarding NFT creators. And others agree. It's really important for good projects to be funded and supported. And I think it happens naturally, you know, provided that they're launching in the right way and in the right space. Um, but those are the guys that are going to, you know, support the space in the long run, continue to reward people for participating in their projects. This has led some to characterize the banking crisis as an opportunity to cleanse the NFT space of bad actors. Those are considered to be recyclers of activity, essentially moving money from one project to another and skewing the view of what's happening in NFTs. Mock says that the banking crisis has the potential to get rid of these parts of the system. Now we're going to incise into this and, and going to extract and abstract the quality of liquidity, which what we, um, uh, I like to call it as the utility, the real utility uh, of, the, of the market. And then on the project side is that uh, the purge is essentially is that it's going to basically wash out uh, those who are not actually building properly, uh, those who are recycling their projects. Randy Wazinger, the co-CEO of Forecast Labs, says that it's vital that the true value of the digital economy starts to be better understood. Speaking to Forecast last week after the launch of the Forecast 500 index, he said that filtering out wash trades in particular is key. 
According to CryptoSlam, which Weisinger also heads up, those trades have skewed sales numbers on OpenSea. It's literally billions of dollars of NFT transactions that we've washed out or, or cleaned out of our data set. And all of that, from a CryptoSlam perspective, all of that it powers the CryptoSlam product, but it all powers and flows into the Forecast 500 as well. Whether or not the banking crisis purges the sector or hits it hard, many working in NFTs believe that they are moving in the right direction. I feel like the decentralized, let's call it the decentralized uh, market and on side of crypto has performed really well. Uh, and I feel like NFTs are very much uh, aligned in principle with, with how that's performed well. So I think the prospect is good. All right, that's it from us. Do like and subscribe to this video to find more content like it and more on NFTs. Please let us know what you think about what's going on in the NFT marketplace right now, down below in the comments or wherever you're watching this video.